Okay, bro, let's have a dance off. What? It's it's like it's like three in the morning. My guy, you scared? I'm not scared. I'm a chicken. Is that an ooblet? An ooblet? What's that? It's like the coolest thing ever. Wait, no, come back. I wanna be cool. I wanna play ooblets. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yo, it's Austin, and today I've partnered up with Epic Games to bring you a look at Ooblets. This is one of those cool situations where I've actually been following the developer, Gumberland, and the game for a long time now, so when they reached out the channel being like, hey, we want to sponsor you, I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah. So thanks to Epic Games for sponsoring this video, and if you're vibing Ooblets as much as I was after playing it and following it for so long, you can click the link down in the description to download it today, and, and you can even use my supporter creator code, Eruption, if you want. Uh, let's get started. I'm sure most of you can tell based off some of the other videos I've made on this channel, but I'm a huge fan of the slice of life video game genre. Your ACs, cutesy farming simulators like Story of Seasons, Stardew Valley. But what if you take that and combine a creature collection element like your pocket or digital monsters? Well, then you get Ooblets. Ooblets are these goofy, cute, and zany little creatures who can do all sorts of things. The most important though, of course, is wearing little hats. Very good, Trumbo. Okay, so let's lay this down. You create your character who has decided to up and completely abandon their previous home because it's boring and dumb, only to arrive in Badge Town. Right after arriving, you meet Mayor Tinsel, who's like, hey, what up? You can have a house if you want, just clean up these dirty cans and do everything I say for the rest of your life, okay? Okay, cool. After talking with people, you join a club and grab yourself an ooblet. There's four clubs you can join on the island, each with a different goal in mind. There's the Peak Snubs, the Frun Buns, the Mimpins, and Moss Sprouts. All of them confusing to look at. I've already made a few files, so I've messed around with each of the starting ooblets, but I decided to roll with Peak Snubs because I too enjoy being successful. Plus this guy, look, he's too cute. So unlike your other monster collection games, ooblets has one big difference. And what I think is a nice thing to see right now, all conflicts are solved in this world via a dance-off. Why make these adorable little things fight each other when you can just throw down some sick moves and leave the victor? We'll talk about that more later. So you arrive at your new house, which is actually a beat-up farm. Mirror Tinsel told me not to complain because it's free. And I can't argue with that. Here we learn how to farm, how to use our tools, how to smash our hands into rocks on the ground. And then we're set free to uh, go explore around a bit or something. Ooblets kind of throws you into the deep end pretty quick, which is something I really like about it. You know, you look at it on the surface and you're like, this actually, this isn't gonna this isn't gonna go very deep, but it actually does, and that's something that's really cool as well. You know, you have your base level of interaction and the things that you need to do, but that evolves over time into something a lot deeper. And besides just participating in combat, the ooblets themselves actually help around the farm and do other stuff with the life sim aspects. After sorting out a few affairs for Mayor Tinsel, you gain access to our task board, which will point you in the right direction for unlocking new features. Because Badge Town is a bit of a mess, you've arrived just in time to sort everyone's business. So you'll be managing your energy while bashing up rocks and tree stumps to turn in. But I mean, you got a clear room to start your farm anyways, so it's a win-win. So what's the gameplay loop? Ooblets actually has a pretty lengthy one, like a summoner DPS rotation, and you probably don't know what I mean with that, but I do. <laughs> so like any other, humble beginnings, you gotta grab materials. Punch the trees, do the dance battles, and earn ooblet seeds. That's right, whenever you finish a battle with whatever ooblet you challenged, they decide to give you a piece of them. That's a, uh, mm hmm whatever, that's fine. You plant it, wait a few days, and then get yourself a new friend to hang out with. Yay, just like real life, right? I actually really like that the farming system's UI is as user-friendly as it is. It'll tell you the remaining days, whatever you have planted needs to fully grow, whether or not it needs water, and it's just really easy to read and use. It's uh, useful when you suddenly find yourself with way too much on your plate, an awful farm layout, and sprinklers going everywhere, oh my god. So these ooblets you grow become your friend, and you can have up to eight follow you at a time, which is admittedly hilarious to watch. You can also keep summon home who will take care of your ranch. You can build oob coops and slap a few in there with really cute animations, by the way. They're like little dog houses and, oh, look at that small hat. Oh God. I was gonna write something about not being able to get rid of ooblets and having too many to handle, but they literally patched that in as I was writing this. So it's like they're reading my mind. Good job. Having ooblets on the farm helps a lot with energy management. Just like any farming style game in the genre, you can only do so much each day before your character needs to pass the heck out. You can cook food using ingredients ingredients you farm or find laying around, which is gross, but that can be assembled into a tasty treat to restore your energy. But you can't just rely on food for energy. 
Ah, oh, wait, no, that sounds wrong. Each oop coop will allow you to assign multiple cute friends to it to take care of the crops for you. That includes watering and harvesting at a certain upgrade level. It's that wheel of progress. You started as a simple man with a simple hoe, and then suddenly we've achieved total automation. You need to save that energy anyways, because there's other things you need to be doing. You can't be sleeping on the dance floor now. Or, I mean, you can. So that's just farming, which is just one part of this game. All of these ooblets you're growing can be used for combat as well. Well, I guess it's not like actually combat, it's a dance off, which is like a form of battle. In the world of Badge Town, all of the conflicts are solved via dance off. And I'm not gonna do it. The video game TCG craze has enlightened another one because instead of going for a straight RPG battle system, Ooblets has created a very unique gameplay mechanic with this. So dance-offs can happen for a variety of reasons. As you walk around, you can hop into a battle with a series of Ooblets who are just hanging around town. You might even enter a tournament for the sake of rare seeds, gummies, and wishes. Those are the currencies, by the way. Each battle lets you use between one and six Ooblets. <laughs> yeah, six. It's Saturday Night Fever up in the club. On the side of the screens here, you'll see little meters you have to fill up. These are the points required to win the dance off. It can range from 20 to 40 and probably higher. You have a certain amount of beats per turn with each card consuming a different amount of them. However, you don't just have attacks. You have buffs, debuffs, support abilities, and delay casts. You can stun individual members of the enemy team. You can put so many debuffs on them that they can't do anything and they can also do that to you. Man. But the cool part here is that in addition to the general set of cards you'll always have in battle, each ooblet has three signature attacks they unlock as you level them up. These can be as simple as a big attack or even something that halts the concept of time and life itself. Yeah, okay, maybe not that, but when you have big parties and are participating in the tougher battles, it's nice to have that variety. Yeah, that also means you're gonna be pulling from six Ooblets decks at the same time, so you gotta make sure you got the right comp. It seems like this will be getting more and more content as the early access period moves forward, but this combat system was something I really enjoyed doing on a daily basis. Once you unlock the Dance Barn, you can hop into a three-tier tournament every day to unlock some of the harder-to-find Ooblets like Snurfler, also known as Cthulhu himself. On top of that, there's rare and gleamy versions of each ooblet that have color variations and there's just there's just a lot to do. I'll tell you right now, there's gonna be a lot more dancing and card collecting in my future. So those are the ooblets, but what about you or or me? What what do we do in the world of Badge Town? Well, once again, the answer is actually more than you might think. Everything we've been doing so far has given us the opportunity to earn multiple forms of currency. First up is the standard dollar of the world, the gummy. Badge Town trades in yummy snacks, I guess, and you can earn these by selling stuff you find, growing plants, and trading them to me to the town trader. You can also do some of Tinsel's tasks, or sometimes one of the many cute town villagers will want you to do something for him. You'll spend gummies on clothes, new hairstyles, additions to your house, and the occasional snack for when you don't want to cook yourself. But the more important currency here are the wishes. You'll earn these by doing quests, earning badges, and doing daily tasks. These are used at the wishing well right outside of town hall and this is how you'll unlock the fun stuff. Such as new cosmetics to buy at the shops, increased stamina bars, sprinklers, you know, automation. There's a lot of stuff already and I'm sure a lot more to come as the early access period keeps going. The slice of life elements of Ooblets have been really relaxing and enjoyable so far. In other games I've played I felt a rush to get things done as soon as possible, but Ooblets is letting me take my time unlocking stuff so I have access to new features without feeling too overwhelmed. I mean, the fact that I've played this as much as I have already and haven't seen anything close to a wall of progress yet means that they did a pretty good job with it. I personally would love to see even more character and outfit customization, expanded fishing elements, and whatever new areas they add over time. It'll come in time and I still gotta make my house not look like a starting tent anyways, so I'm excited to get there. Also, it's hard not to love the way this game looks and sounds. Like, good god. Play a clip, just look at it, listen to it. Uh. I love what Gumberland has done with the Ooblet so far, and it's really awesome that a game that I was already interested in and playing reached out to sponsor the channel. So like earnestly, if you're wanting to play this after hearing me gab on about it forever, I highly recommend you click the link down in the description and give it a shot. And if you want to help the channel as well, you can input Eruption in the support a creator box at checkout and I would greatly appreciate it. And if you're wanting to see more of the game, I guarantee you I will be playing it on Twitch on my wholesome Sunday streams at some point, so uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, but for now, I must go because if I don't, I'm gonna start dancing. I really don't wanna... D
do it. Special Patreon shout out to Brandon Howell, Chris Shelton, Christopher Olivia, Cliff Pro, Donald Dowdy, David Molnar, Eli Shane Stauffenecker, Flaming Fighter, Imee, Jay Roos, Jeffrey Narvaez, Jacoby Fitzpatrick, Jordy McCaffrey, Josh Garbage Lord, Kevin Zanowski, Kieran Arter, Legend Gary, Nitron, and Plasma Phoenix. Thank you very much for your generous support. Thanks to everybody who showed up for the Equality Now charity stream last week. It was a really good time and we raised over $1,600 in funds. I'll probably do another one of these sometime in November, so stay tuned for that. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next week.